or try Chennai. You just have to do something. How much mud it does? Hello, hi guys. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys see. So this video, let me remove the helmet. Okay, so this video is all about, you know, uh, the first uh, service experience. You know, I'm going to give the bike for the first service. So I just want to tell you, you know, what is my feel uh, before the thousand kilometers. Now we're done approximately 900 kilometers. The next ride is going to be uh, on the Saturday. We're going to a uh, very long distance, which is about 1,600 kilometers. So I want to ensure that, you know, the bike is uh, done well, you know. So what is my observation on this particular bike? There are a few questions being asked about the bike. You know, one is uh, the mileage. Mileage, what I was getting in the city is about, you know, um, 25 to 28 is what I was getting and uh, i was talking about the braking you know like the braking i said you know it is very soft uh, the reason is uh it is basically the organic brake is being given on the 400x so the purpose has been designed so during winter season or if you are planning to take any off-road you know definitely this uh, particular braking system organic brake will be the better option but if you think you know you really want the sharp braking you know like you can change the disc pad from the 400x which is a synthetic brake and uh, you'll have definitely have the punction but when you talk about the braking efficiency both are the same it is just the initial you know feel is slightly different from the 400 and the 400x but it's been designed for the purpose so uh, pretty fine with it oh, this is the condition of the bike it looks i have not cleaned the bike at all let's me let me talk about the concerns what i have is there are two main concerns the engine stalling on the second and the third gear when i can expect the engine stalling is when you are taking the bike after a long break maybe overnight uh, first ride you take on the morning or after two to three hours of uh, then what really happens is between the second and the third gear when you are riding very slow the bike actually stalls so how you feel how i can explain the stall is you know like when you when the when you're running out of gas the engine will will feel like you know it is running stopping running stopping that is what i we have experienced it um, this has to be looked from prime because an easy update is required is what i feel main concern is uh, the front section of the bike you know like you guys can see with all the water nothing got hit near the engine area it is absolutely fine because concern what i have is and i'll just show you guys you guys can see <coughs> See how much mud it accumulated in this particular area. Uh, definitely, you know, this is not the way uh, it's supposed to be. Market, uh, Jugaad is required definitely to arrest that. Performance, the tire is actually doing a very good job. You know, the tires are absolutely brilliant. Uh, it is doing a great job. The engine heat is absolutely manageable. No problem. I'm really comfortable. And I love the position of the biking. But only one concern is, you know, like the bike is tall. Uh, I am five foot nine. To show you what is the trouble I, you guys can face. So I'm sitting tall, and now I'm on a flat road. I've parked in the flat road. So you have to be very, very mindful where you're going to park because the reason is, uh, when you are parking on uphill, definitely you can't park. Downhill definitely it is easy. On a flat surface is better because you guys can see the bike is absolutely straight. So now to remove the stand, what I have to do is I have to tilt slightly, and then push it. So that's one thing you have to be mindful. When you're moving the bike back, you have to push with, you have to slightly work around, you know, tiptoe. If you're tall enough, like 5, 10 and above, no problem. Or in an uneven road, when there can be a problem. So this is something you guys need to be mindful. So these are the accessories what I kept. I have the box, I have the saddle stay, and I have the crash cards. Uh, all this stuff and fog lamp it's not installed I, so after the first service done you know let me uh, give my feedback to the triumph and see how does the bike perform and what is the response from the triumph <laughs> So first service is done. Let me share how was, how was the experience and how was the bike performing. But one difference is, you know, like during this uh, last two days, you know, I was uh, riding different bike, uh, basically to commute and to reach uh, the service station. After sitting on this bike, in any bike I sit, it is looking like a baby. The, the complaint, the major complaint, what I said was uh, engine stalling in the second and third gear. Uh, maybe I can uh, ride tomorrow and give you update uh, on this video itself. 
so what they have said is you know such complaints have come in already and uh, it's it's again based uh, it's an easy update has been done see basically i have a street twin where i have done my services uh, here but after the launch of 400 and 400x i'm not 100% convinced about the service uh an immense service it is the support staff response definitely you know triumph chennai you guys have to do something so basically all the checks has been done and the bill is uh, 2198 uh, after service i've done about 50 kilometers so just wanted to share you what is my feel and my main concern was that engine stalling happens in the second and the third gear and they i think they have done some issue update suppose that the bike performance actually turned out better or rather good i can see there is no stalling since yesterday and there is no sign of stalling even but the power amazing this bike the power is amazing and the wider handlebar on um, on potholes and then braking you guys can see how i brake oh yeah here it stops see i think i'm getting used to this particular braking and i'm comfortable so it's been designed for a purpose and i will uh, take it i will not replace it the 400 synthetic brake pads i will be using it's all about how you tune your mind you know so the braking shock of this amazing mileage is pretty decent I'm actually on my way to meet my friend uh, for getting prepared for my next big ride which is to Lambasangi. Um my first long ride or my first group ride with this particular bike. You guys can see the power of the bike. It no matter it goes and till about 80 it is butter smooth. No problem. and after you go on 80 you guys can see feel the slight uh, vibration on the foot pegs but no vibration and anywhere else it is just on the foot pegs you guys can feel it check with triumph at the moment you know the vehicle i think there is a stock available in chennai and uh, the waiting period is approximately 2 weeks is what they said engine stalling after the easy update it is it is not i don't see at all perfect good job and the city handling also it is absolutely beautiful the maneuvering is absolutely beautiful i love it so if you guys ask me now will i refer this to my friend yes the if the person is 58 and above yes A beautiful bike no question about it and um, i said to my friend you know probably if i have seen this bike before buying a street twin with the practical conditions i would definitely not bought a street twin but street twin is a fun bike So this is my all-round bike. Um, definitely, it suits my personality. The previous bike, what I had is Honda CB350. So that's a beautiful bike. Uh, really reliable. Close about three years time, forty-eight thousand kilometers. Not even a single breakdown. The service, uh, everything was perfect. No question about it. It is just the off-road option and the power was missing. and since i love triumph 
and I want to try this one and um, and I'm loving it extra cushion on the shock observer the power because it's almost like 19 horsepower uh, this I don't know phone pay why the I don't know in the Mari traffic la minister on the city Elan in the Dambo and now under the police car and now what wrong enough under the what to do why 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 pulling go why pulling go no no I don't know why people ride like this. I love your bike. See now, he will. Already the road is the road was bad and I scraped it. I don't know when they're gonna put it. And my boy will do an awesome job in such roads. So this is what the bar this bike can do. What the idiot thing is close pani which kanga appiyo on the inarto. Okay, see you in the, the vlog. Have fun, take care. Jai Hind. Wow.